Hello guys. This is my first YouTube video for my channel. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more videos in the future. Um, thank you for joining me. My name is Nikki. Um, a little bit about myself. I am 34 years old. I stay in Georgia, but I'm from Indiana. Um, I have five kids, five boys, lovely, lovely fellows. I love them so much. Um, and I'm a regular mom, like some of you, and regular dog mom, because I know there's the dog moms out there. Um, and I like to craft. Um, that's what a lot of my videos are going to be about in the future, crafting and crafting at a budget. Um, everyone that knows me knows I'm in love with decorating, I'm in love with crafting. Um, I like to make a spectacle of everything just because my mom did it for me when I was little. I love to make everything fun and bright and shiny and I like to not empty my pockets doing it. Um, this year, well, <laughs> I feel kind of bad because I've spent a lot and I mean a lot of money on Christmas decorations in the past. At this point, whilst, which I'm in a little apartment now, so I get to decorate my little apartment, but we are working on trying to get in a house, which will be so much fun. That'll be a whole, you know, other set of videos in the future decorating that. But for now, it's my little apartment, and I love to decorate this place. I love to make it my own. My apartment is so homey and cozy because I put love into it. Same with my decorating. But my season of choice and my holiday of choice, winter slash Christmas, or Xmas, or Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate. I love you all. Okay, so um, I'm not going to be long on this one. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Um, as I said before, I spent a lot of money the past years switching up things for Christmas. Um, I have enough stuff to decorate five, six trees at this point. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna slow down eventually. My friends mess with me because I spent so much money on decorations, but I love this season. So uh, this year, I switched to gingerbread. Gingerbread houses, candy, stuff like that. Now as you know, if you've been out um, looking at these decorations, the gingerbread thing was so expensive this year. And so I couldn't help but to spend some money, but a lot of things I tried to make myself. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. There's my little Dollar Tree. I know some of you know the secret little uh, gifts that you can get from Dollar Tree. That's um, a little something there, but no. Um, by the time I'm done decorating, I'm going to show you guys just how much I put um, love into it because I went everywhere and I go everywhere looking for sales. Now my friend, she knows how I am about decorations. So she had went into the dollar section of Target and found these right here. And so, you know me, I'm a really flashy person or whatever. However, these are very beautiful to me. If you look, I don't know if you can see but it's got a nice glittery house. It's a really good foundation. And um, if you want to, paint costs $2 at Walmart. You can paint it how you want. Now, I won't be painting it. Uh, what I'll be doing is I got my hot glue gun ready. These were on sale at Michael's. So let's see, how much did I pay for those? These say $4.99. So they were something like 2 bucks and 50 cents or something like that. So I'm going to be gluing the candy to the front of the houses. If it works out well, I'm going to go back and get more of these to add to the roof. Um, and check the... Now this is another, you know of course, LED lights at Dollar Tree. A dollar. Look at... The unexpected benefit of this now you can't see much but when all of these are lit up with the LED lights it's beautiful so essentially I'm gonna end up with a small little Christmas town cuz I got a bunch of them a small little gingerbread Christmas town they also had these at Dollar Tree that also look at that 
beautiful. Illuminate with the little dollar LED lights. Um, I got a post office and where is my church? I do have a church as well. I got a post office and a church and I'm going to look at other Dollar Trees to see if they have um, other little buildings for my town. However, as you can see, I got something really nice going on. So let's see. Let's try out one of these um, together. See if this sticks to the front of this house. Something simple you can do. Oh, I didn't even tell you the price. These were $3 at Target. I'm leaving out the important part. $3. That's it. $3. When if you buy one of these, paint it with some of this stuff glued to it and um, the light built in it, you're talking about like 20 30 bucks, and for what? When I pay three, six, nine, um, all of my supplies together is cheaper than you buying like a little gingerbread house like this that lights up at the store. So let's see. Got my trusty little glue gun. Yes, I know it's tiny. I need to up my game. As much crafting as I do, I need to get a bigger gun. So let's see how we're going to do this. Um... Hmm. It's the front of the house. You know what? I'm just going to stick the candy in the middle. I got lollipops for the other ones. So I'm just going to put a little glue here. I'm going to stick this to the front of the house. And wow, it sticks really well. Look. Look at the difference that makes beautiful and I'm gonna um, add some more to the sides I'm gonna go get some more and I'm gonna put some on the house but I just wanted to give you a basic gist of what you could do okay so setting these aside they came out so nice I'm like really super excited to finish those later okay so we're gonna set those to the side now last year at Michaels see I made my own centerpiece that's another thing. I'm tired of spending a bunch of money on poinsettias every year and everything. So, I went to Dollar Tree. Let's see. Let's try to move this around. Let's see. Can you see that good? Okay. So, I don't know if you could tell. Look, there's mesh candy canes. Now, these mesh candy canes on sale um, at Michael's are like two bucks because you know Michael's always at this time of year does like 50% off so I got a bunch of these I didn't know what I was gonna do with them they have sticks at the bottom so you can stick them out of your Christmas tree if you want um, but I like to use them for centerpieces I got like a Santa milk bottle or whatever um, that um, I stuck them out of that's in my front room. As I said, in our next video, I'll walk you around to see some of my decorations because I have a lot of them. But as you can see, I got some $1 poinsettia flowers from Dollar Tree. Pine cones too. They had the pine cones and everything. Now, to make this look better, I may go and get maybe like some red rocks. I don't know. Give me some suggestions in the comments. And then I got him. This was only a dollar and fifty cents. I just found him. He was a lone wolf at Hobby Lobby, just sticking off of a stick. And I told my husband, I'm in love with this gingerbread man. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. And surprise, surprise, I was able to use him for my centerpiece. But um, I need to anchor it a little more. I just wanted to show you so you could get a little idea um, of what I was trying to go for. So, I hope I was entertaining enough for you to come and join me in the future so um, I can give you some other budget-friendly ideas for decorating, for decorating, for parties. Um, thank you so much for your time. Oh, let me give you a sneak peek of my tree, if I can flip this around. I don't know. Let's see. Can I flip this? Well, let's just turn around. That's the start of my big tree. I always get um, a real tree or whatever. 
um, every year. Even when we move in a house, I'll get a couple artificial trees because I'm gonna wanna have up like four or five Christmas trees at a time. But every year, it's a tradition, we must get a big, beautiful Fraser fir tree. Um, so, until next time, love you guys. Mwah.